Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video is very exciting. It is Apple Week. Here are some fun things that we are going to do, starting with today, of the iOS 17 iPhone update and the watchOS 10 update. Woohoo! Let's do this. Let me show you the iOS 17 update. Okay, so this is my phone. Um, it is the iPhone 12. And today I'm gonna show you how to install the iOS 17 update. As you can see, my phone is pretty dirty, but that is okay. So this is what you're gonna have to do. Unlock the phone. You're gonna go into settings. And then you're gonna go into general. And then you're gonna go into software update. So you should look like this, where it says iOS 16.6.1 is up to date. At the bottom, you can see there is an update to iOS 17. We're going to click on that, and it gives you an information about what iOS 17 is all about. So you can read all that if you would like. You can hit learn more, and it'll give you all the information about the iOS update, but we're not going to read that because I'll be taking forever. So this is a giant update. As you can see, this is a 3.9 gigabytes. So make sure you have at least 10 gigabytes of space left on your phone, which I have. And this is just a really big update. Let's install it. So we're going to hit the download and install button. And it's going to ask me for my code. Now that I've put in my code, it'll do a terms and conditions. It'll be agree or disagree. Obviously hit agree and agree and it's downloading. And so it's going to take a while for it to download just because it's a giant update. So let's wait and see what happens. Okay guys, so it's updating and it's got about zero seconds remaining. So it is downloading. I'm very excited to see what the, what all this is. I have notes here from a video that I watched on iOS 17 just to know what I want to share with you guys. Um, there is a watchOS update, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to turn on this. I turned it off just so it wouldn't do it overnight so I can make this video. So yeah, so we're going to, we're going to wait. So it's preparing the update and yeah. <laughs> Also, I'm wearing my ACDC shirt because it's Marvel Monday, I call it, and you guys know that Tony Stark likes our ACDC, and we also have him right here. Our little Tony Stark, his little bobblehead. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Go Marvel! Avengers Assemble! That's right, Tony. Today is tech week. Today is Apple week. We are watching the update together. Yeah, update to iOS 17. It's so cool. Woohoo! It's it is your rocks, literally. <laughs> Man, this update is taking a while, Claire. I know, Tony. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, what the heck? Why? Why, Apple? Why do you have to make your updates so long? Why? Stark Industries is not impressed. I would have. This would have been faster if you had Stark Industries. Invest in my tech. Okay, Tony, now we know how you feel. Yeah. Why is it taking forever? It's a giant update. Aw, you have good Wi-Fi, right? I do. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that bell notification to turn on notifications when Claire posts a new video. Go, this is me. Woohoo. Okay, folks, we're gonna take a quick break just because it's taking forever. Keep watching to see what happens. Woohoo! Also guys, happy Marvel Monday! Woohoo! What movie are we gonna watch, Claire? Um, I'm thinking Black Widow. Again? You've watched that a hundred times! It's my favorite! Better than me? What about me? I'm Iron Man! I 
like Iron Man too, as well. Oh, really? Yeah, you're both my favorites. I like all of them. Okay, well, okay, I'll give you that. It's been, what, 10 minutes and this update's been going on forever? Wow. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. You know, Marvel's pretty cool. You guys should subscribe to the channel because clearly over here likes Marvel. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and you should watch some Marvel movies too because it's Marvel Monday. Yep, Tony, that is correct. It is definitely Marvel Monday. Woohoo! Get yourself some popcorn and uh, some snacks, cozy Avengers blanket, and your Avengers merch, and your favorite Avengers stuffy, and watch some Marvel movies. You have to start off with Captain America and then end with the Avengers. Claire, this, this is taking a while. I know, Tony. Man. Also, guys, stay tuned to the end for a very special surprise. Also guys, when you're doing this update, make sure you have stuff backed up to your cloud or your phone, just in case something goes wrong with this, which hopefully it doesn't. Thank you, Tony, for that information. Yes, please make sure you have backups, and in case something uh, happens to your phone, please save it. Save what you can! Yes, that is correct. Yay! It's almost done! Oh yeah, it is! Look at it! Look at it! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I know. Oh my gosh. Yay! It's almost done. The last seconds. Oh yes, very important. Here we go. Come on, update, you can do it. Say, uh, Claire, what Apple Watch do you have? Oh, um, thank you for asking, Tony. I have the Apple Watch Series 7. Awesome. Do you think you're going to get the 9? Um, probably not. Why not? Um, it's going to be way too big on my wrist. Okay. We're getting closer and closer and closer. I know this is not my real voice, guys, but I'm very excited. Here it comes. We're almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. We are gonna wait forever because it's almost time. Come on, right now. Oh, it's preparing? Cool. I'm very excited. Okay, guys, I switched it to my charger so that it would charge during the um, download and also just to make it a little faster. Awesome. So I can stand right here then. Okay. It's almost there, but it's taking forever. Why? <laughs> oh, Tony, you're so funny. Thank you. Okay guys, we can install it now. Yay, install. Here we go. Now this is the long part. So now it's verifying the update. And soon we will have our very new iOS 17 update. Here we go. Woohoo. Go phone, go. Where's the Apple sing? Yay! Claire? Yeah? Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. And now we gotta wait some more. We will be back when the update is finished. Ooh. Okay, you guys, so it just started second round of loading. What? Yay! I think the second one might be a little faster, so we're gonna see what happens. I'm, we're so close, we're so close to it, and I'm very excited. And also, just like Tony said, stay at the end for an announcement because there's gonna be a very big announcement coming up, and I'm really excited to share it with you all at this week on Apple Week. So hopefully it should be going faster or not, but we will see. I'm really excited about the announcement. I know. Everyone should be, because they'll all love it. Should we give them a hint? Mm, sure. I'll give you guys a hint. Something new is coming. It's literally in this video, in the comments right now, to take a guess of what you guys think the surprise is. It's not a trip, but it's something that's coming in the mail very soon. I want to tell them. No, you can't, Tony. Aw. I know, you're very excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You're gonna love it, Claire. 
I know. And you guys are gonna love it too. Be sure to stay tuned for that video that's coming up soon. I thought you said this one might take a shorter time. I don't know. This one's different. But maybe it will be short. But I mean, it's just starting off pretty slow. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, more waiting. Here we go! <laughs> Guys, I completely forgot to turn it on. I was going to do like a fast thing, but here it is. Um, it looks beautiful. Look how pretty it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock it. We're going to wait for the hello because we're, we speak English. So I'm going to unlock it. Can I need you to move? Okay. Woo! Bye, everybody. Okay. And you can stay here and watch. I mean, Tony. Okay, Tony, so you can watch. Okay, here we go, everybody. Okay, so we're going to unlock it. I have to put in my password. Okay, so it starts off by saying software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 17. Continue. And what it should do is should bring us to the home screen. Okay, guys, so it just gave us an option for Siri. So it says, your virtual assistant is now even easier to talk to. Say Siri or Hey Siri. S now you can simplify back-to-back -back requests, all that stuff. Continue. Welcome to iPhone. Woohoo! And there it is, you guys. Now, not a lot has changed. You know, obviously with the display. Um, is there something else I can help with? Whoops. Nope. Okay, hang on. So, okay, let's try a command for Siri. Siri, what time is it? Mm -hmm. It's 5.29 p.m. So that's Siri. And so let's get started with a couple of notes I have here. I have a couple of notes that I have here that we're going to get started with, okay? Tony, you're going to need to move. Okay, I'll just hang here. Okay. So a couple of the new features that we can do is new wallpapers. So let's us let's find the new wallpapers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into um, settings. There's a couple of new setting stuff like standby and um, a couple of other things. But we're gonna go to wallpaper. Now it shows my wallpaper that I have created. So now it's loading very slowly, apparently. So we're gonna add a new wallpaper. So it's taking a long time, as I can see. We have a couple of new ones. So we have some emoji ones. We have some emoji ones, which are pretty cool. Some collection, some color, all that stuff. I can't get wallpapers up for some reason, so you're gonna have to give me a second. <laughs> Ah, there it is okay so this is the new wallpaper it looks very cool and as we can see in the bottom it does uh, dark mode and light mode so this is the light mode and this is the dark mode so we can set it to light or automatic I like it automatic we're gonna add that but you know what we can also do we can go here and we can also change the font to make it bigger or small and then we can go over here and change the fonts as well. Let's go here, make them bigger or small. It's up to you. And you can also change the color too as well. So I'm gonna keep it kind of a nice shade color of pink and make it nice and pink. I can also go over here and make a pink color that I like, you know? And so we're gonna, we're gonna do this color just cause you know, it's my favorite color. So then, oh, I didn't set it, whoops. And so I'm gonna hit add. I'm gonna hit uh, wallpaper pair. And then 
it should be my current wallpaper and yeah so um the next thing um i see is health now health is important so improve health and activity um it's giving me a share at health share my data with health and stuff and then don't share my data so i'm gonna look this over real quick <laughs> going to share my data right now okay so as i can see here is that it's giving me like a little more of a background so as before um as before we didn't have like this color in the background so that's really cool so i'm gonna ignore that um so there's a health checklist make sure your health features on your phone and apple watch the way you want them we can review that but there's one thing that I really want to talk about, and that is mental well-being. So mental well-being is um, something that can help you to where you can take a mental health questionnaire along with the regular reflection assessing your current risk for common conditions can be an important part of caring of your mental health. And then you can do logging your emotions and moods, uh, keeping track of how you are feeling and, and can help you understand your well-being, your well mental well-being. And so it's giving you a couple of things and like that. So this is fun. There's also something new that's coming out later this year, and that's journal. Um, it's something that you can um, journal, you know, if you like to journal and like, uh, on like your notes or something um, then there's an app coming out um, later this year I'm very excited about that yeah so that's that um, there's another thing let's see mail um, let's see what else um, Apple fitness let's see Apple Fitness is my favorite thing to use because I like Apple Fitness Plus. And sharing is fun too, to find your friends. Apple Fitness Plus, you can also do custom plans. Take the guesswork out of your routine with a plan designed for you. Pick your favorite activities and set your schedule to stay motivated week after week. So you can create my plan. Um, there's tips on that. <laughs> I'm also going to, since I'm here, I'm going to update my Apple Watch real quick, just so you guys can see that. So we're going to go software update. Uh, why is it paused? Hold on, let me see. So it's giving me this thing where it's like, you can resume the demo when you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. However, my watch is connected and it's just being a little bit funny. Maybe I'll have to update it later, but... We'll see what happens. So I'm going to text Michael. Michael from Michael Vlogs. So I'm going to text him. I'm going to text him and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Hi, this is Claire and I'm on the new iOS update. So I just sent that and now I'm going to send him a sticker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sticker. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take a picture of myself and it's gonna be fun. And so I can put live, I can put loop. Okay, so I made a sticker and I don't know if you can see that, but I made the sticker and so this is the original. It's the sticker version kind of, like it's like an actual sticker. And there's this one, this one, and this one. And that's it. And so that's what I'm going to send to Michael. So let's send it to him. Hit done. And so now I'm going to go to messages. And I'm going to go to stickers. And I'm going to send him that. 
Yay. I can do live stickers. I'm just not sure how. But that's pretty fun. So, yeah. So that's a sticker. And then I can also put the sticker up here and tape it like that. Okay, guys. So I didn't finish that. Um, but um, I'm now able to do the watchOS update. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to do the update for my watch. We go to settings. I'm going to go to general software update. We're going to do install. Agree. And there we go. So now it's updating to the watchOS 10. I'm very excited because it's going to bring something new to it. As you can see, look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. So, yeah. Now we're going to wait for it to download. We've got more stuff to read. All that stuff. Oh, there it goes. Now it's downloading. Oh, there we go. Now this is a big update too, as well. But here we go. It's downloading. Yay! I'm glad you're excited, Tony. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so doing its thing. It's loading, as you can see. And we will see what happens later. So, so we will wait for it to update, and I will show you the new features coming to WatchOS 10. Okay, so it's still going through its cycle. We're going to wait and see what happens. Okay, you guys, so it looks like it's still going, and there it goes. Oh my gosh, look at that. It did the same thing as my phone. Let's press start. And I have to put in my passcode. Learn how to navigate Apple Watch. Press the digital crown to see your apps. Whoa. Okay, you guys, press the digital crown to your watch face. Whoa. Okay, you guys, press the side button to open control center. Press the side button to close control center. Whoa. Turn the digital crown to see your widgets. <gasps> Welcome to Apple Watch. Oh, but okay. Okay, you guys. This is one of the updates I've been waiting for. Okay. So this is definitely different. So it's not more sideways how you used to do on the other one. It's more like, you know, it can still do sideways, whoa. You can still do sideways, but like not a lot, you know? But it's like up and down, you know? You can scroll down, look at all your apps, and then you can do a list view. All your apps are there. That is so cool. What I'm a little disappointed is how the, you can't change the background, but that's okay. So as we saw, there's a new, Watch stuff. So there's that, that, and that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So I love... Okay. So I love this. I love this so much. Apparently, I've noticed this with the, all, with the updates is that when you update, it takes a really long time to load. So that's Apple Watch 10. Okay guys, so I forgot to finish yesterday's video. So we left off with the stickers. Um, I did the watchOS update as well, um, and that's working pretty well. Actually, it's really cool. And we're gonna finish the iOS 17, and then I'll show you a little bit of watchOS. I've also been playing around with this yesterday, or last night, and today as well. So I've noticed a couple of things. So I went bike riding today for my fitness, and I went on a bike ride, started a bike ride, and then I messed it up for some reason. I've noticed that it's a little bit more clearer, you know, for fitness. When you start um, a fitness, you know, for example, I did my cycling. Um, it also shows up on the phone as well um, and on the Apple Watch. So whatever you see on the Apple Watch, you also see on the phone, which is amazing, which is one of the things I wanted during this update because I like looking at my watch, but I also um, have a phone holder on my bike, so I like looking at my phone as well. And it's like a giant, more bigger screen. Um, another thing is that it's more, a little more responsive. I would say the battery life is pretty good. There's one, there's another thing too. I can now ping my watch right there. So if I ping that, it'll ping my watch. So if I lose my watch, I can ping it. And also on my watch, I can also ping my phone as well. Um, also on the uh, watch OS, so you press the crown here. And look at that. That is like, and it's not more, it's not as um, circularly rotatey, I guess, you know, since the other one. It's more like a list. 
you know, you can obviously go like that, go like that, but it'll revert back to the center. I can also uh, do that, you know, scroll up. And then I can also ping my phone. So to find the pinging phone, this button right here, right here, and then your phone, it'll ping my phone. And I like this new design of the control center. It's more easy to see. I like the style. I really do. And I also like this too. I wish this um, was like an actual watch face because I, I think it would be a lot more helpful if we had that. Like the Siri watch face. If anyone remembers that, let me know. Um, but this kind of feels like the Siri watch face as well. Um, I have not found that one yet. I'm not sure if they took it off or, and then replaced it with this. This is pretty cool. I like this idea where you can see the clock, you know, you can see the digital clock and you can edit it. Yeah, I like I like this idea. I think Apple has definitely made it a lot more simple. There's also a lot, a couple of more uh, new things too. There's a couple of new workouts. There's Tai Chi. I didn't know that. Multi-sport, yoga, and you can also set up your workouts for a routine or something. So that sounds fun. So there's, like I said, there's new wallpaper and all that stuff. Um, stickers. There's not a lot that I like, you know, besides like the new wallpaper and the stickers and how the um, iMessages is now, you know, new. Um, I'm going to show you one of those. So this is, so let me show you an example. So I'm texting myself, right? I didn't really get to show you this. So right here, we kind of see the um, message. I have a subject just because. And so I have this plus thing. And so what it does is it, it shows up with all this. So camera, photo, stickers, Apple Cash audio location and more and these are your third-party apps and more so there's check-in digital touch do you guys remember digital touch because that was a really fun one when it was available yeah so there's a lot of stuff you know there's polls I've never used that but yeah I like how this is pretty designed to where you can scroll it I'm gonna send a sticker to myself I made this there we go so that's my sticker what I can also do is um, I tried standby and it worked amazing and I never knew I, I thought it was gonna work for like older models since like I have the 12 but it actually works for like people who have iOS 17 um, and so this is what it it looks like so that's what it looks like um, I can adjust this however I want um, it's really useful um, I don't have the, um, the standby thing, but this will do because I can charge, um, I can charge my AirPods on this side. I can charge my watch here and then I can put my phone sideways or just upright. And so I can just change this. I can change this to however I want. Um, I can make it see the calendar. I can make it see the batteries, percent, how much battery my watch or my AirPods have. I can see a clock and the date. And then it's a cool little business clock, I call it. I don't know, I like this style. I can add a couple more things, but um, I, I just like this idea for now. And then also, I think in like um, dark mode, or like when it's like nighttime out, um, it can, it goes to red. So I'll, let me see if I can show you guys that. Hold on one second. So yeah, it goes to red, as you can see. So it's kind of like a night mode. So it just went to red and it's like a night mode. You can still switch it. So that's the, that's the red mode. So everything is red now. And I can also switch from here to my passcode. And then this too is like a map, I think, of like different time zones. There's that one, there's that one. Yeah, there's this one, I like this one a lot. There's this one, and that's that. So that's um, standby mode, which is pretty cool. The watch doesn't do standby mode, unfortunately. That's okay, but it is it is pretty cool, and I definitely like it a lot. Safari got a new update. Um, I'm not gonna show you a lot of it, uh, just because some of it, you know, Either you know or you probably don't know. Let me give you guys the list. New wallpapers, interactive widgets, standby mode, ping my watch instead of saying hey S, music,
AirPods. There's dark mode. I don't think that'll work on my AirPods. Let's see, AirDrop, two phones close to each other, um, like name drop and AirDrop. Um, the camera, there's a level thing to keep things level. Show you. I'm not sure how to do that, but you can access video mode on FaceTime. There's stickers. Um, you can create from photos. So there's how I did, sh just how I showed you. Messages. I showed you that. There's also um, new Memoji stickers. So let me find those real quick. Uh, there's new Memojis. So obviously you can create a Memoji. So there's this one. Um, there's this one. There's that. There's a there's a new one. It's called Peekaboo. Um, there is a uh, hey. There is a um, little smirking one. There's a yawning one. I think we've had that one. There's this one. There's that one. And then there's that one. There's supposed to be a halo one. I'm not sure where that one is. There's a halo and there's a smirk. I'm not sure where the halo one is, but that's okay. Check in. Check in with another person to make sure they made it to their destination on time. Audio correct. Uh, predictive text is better. There's also where you can get explicit language to where it recognizes the explicit language. So, ex for example, if you wanted to say like... <laughs> say that on here kids friendly channel um we don't say that on here but you know what I'm, if you want to say like a bad word um it'll it'll recognize it as a bad word so um there's a sensitive content warning so if you get like a picture of something sensitive from like a friend or a family you know it'll it'll warn you um for phone um there is a new design when calling so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you that um i just got a notification saying i just did my Moving goal achievement. Hooray for me. And so um, I did my Apple uh, card. That's me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call myself. And so that's me. I'm calling myself. So that's cool how it just does that. You know, it just, it's cool how it does that. You know, let's see what else. Uh, contact posters, which is what I showed you. Live voicemail. So I don't have a live voicemail yet. Um, from anyone. It's a live transcription of what the other person's saying. It sends people uh, straight to voicemail. There's several new ringtones. I have not tested those out yet. Let's take a look at those. FaceTime, record a video and an audio message and Apple TV. So what that means is FaceTime, you can record a FaceTime video um, if the person doesn't answer. Um, and then an audio message as well. And it can also uh, project on the TV. Safari, um, bottom tabs, unlock private tabs with face ID, personal profiles, um, password, share, choose passwords you want to share. Uh, there is a screen distance. Uh, health, there is a mental health there's a mental well-being, multiple timers, journal, it's later this year, it's something where you um, where you get to journal out, whatever you want, uh, fitness, live activities, recycling, workouts, stacks, and custom plans, and that is all for iOS 17. Now, for watchOS, I did not make any notes, but I showed you what it was. This kind of concludes the end of the iOS and watchOS video. Here's a surprise. Hey guys, it's Tony. Get ready for a surprise! Thank you, Tony. So here's the surprise. I am getting the new iPhone 15 in pink very soon. Hopefully this week. It should ship out this week, either the 21st or the 22nd. And I'm very excited because I get to upgrade from my iPhone 12 to the iPhone 15 in pink. Um, and let me give you some info on what that's gonna be like. Okay, so here are my uh, new iPhone 15 tech specs. So it's going to be 6.1 inches, and it's going to be the same size as that uh, iPhone 12. Um, it's going to be in a pink. It's got USB-C charging, so it won't have the lightning um, port anymore. 
like my other phone. It's got some cool camera features. It has a dynamic island, so no more um, notch at the top. It's got 1,000 nits of brightness, 1,600 nits of peak HDR, and 2,000 nits of peak. For outdoor use, it will be better than before. So it will be the 2,000 nits of brightness in outside. Um, just so you can see it more better. Um, it's got a 48 megapix megapixel camera from the iPhone 14 Pro. Now, I was going to get the iPhone 14 Pro this year, but when the iPhone 15 came out in pink, I was like, I have to have it. Because I, I, I need a new phone. <laughs> this is the iPhone 12. And it's good, it's good. Um, what I was worried about is, um, you know, upgrading to a bigger size phone, and I just kind of want to stay at this size because, um, you know, tiny hands. Um, let's see. Uh, two times zoom, no third lens, um, so it'll be just like this, but instead, um, this bottom camera will be, um, diagonally across from it, from that camera, so it'll be going here. Um, I did not want to do the Pro or the Pro Max just because, not only because of this, uh, well, I know that the Pro has the same size, but I just didn't need the three cameras. Um, I like it better with two, and also I'm worried about scratching them. Just cropping into the 48 megapixel sensor, new focus and depth control feature for taking portrait shots, an ultra wide camera, a better voice quality, roadside assistance feature, A16 bionic chip, iOS 17, aluminum with color infused glass back. So what that means is that um, it won't have, it won't have this anymore because it'll get like a lot of fingerprints. It'll be, um, it'll be um, infused glass. So it'll be like more fun, crash detection, 20 hours of video playback, and so the height is 5.81 inches, which is also 1.47.6 millimeters. The width is 2.82 inches, and it's 71.6 millimeters. The depth is 0 0.31 inches, which is also 7.80 millimeters. Um, the weight is 16.2 ounces, and 171 grams. So that is all the tech specs I can give you of my phone. And there will be a unboxing video very soon once I get it and I will keep you guys updated. And that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Uh, turn on that bell notification so you can get notified on when I post new videos. And I'm excited for the iPhone 15. Are you excited? Because I know I am. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.